Okay, this is what I currently use for clamping onto a tether line. It's called a battle lock and it's a security device for uh, wrist guards for festivals. Here's how it works. Right, your line goes into your battle lock and this rope is uh, fairly thin. It can take a range of sizes, but it's not going to pull back that way at all. It really grips on with those barbs. Uh, it'll slide this way, no bother. What you can do is put a bit of plastic on the line and then slide the battle lock up onto that. There you go, it's uh, not a very easy maneuver. It's obviously, this is you know designed to be a security device. Uh, uh, you can then, once you've threaded enough on, you can move the battle lock back out and off the line. Uh, so it's useful at the moment because what I use are these rods with this hole in them and that's the, the stick that I use on the line to transfer the torque. So the line goes through the middle and uh, at the moment, well at the moment the line rotates but in the future the, the main tether line here that's, it's not going to be convenient to have that rotating as the bearing you're going to need at the, the top and bottom to make that happen is uh, it's going to be a bit too much weight to be carrying. So I think it's going to be small bearings in rods that will be spinning over the line. Now, we, at the moment, I stop this one way, so that will be stopped from moving in that direction. I'm going to be able to move this way. Uh, the, the rod will be stopped moving that direction. It'd be good to have it absolutely locked in place with two. But here's the problem at the moment. Getting these on and off or set, you know, that's once it's on the line, it's very much there. You can only ever have it extended. If we had a split open version like this. So here I've just cut open one of the battle locks and it sort of hinges at the bottom there. Now, if we had a version that could clamp onto the line and be closed onto the line, close it up. Sorry, it's not a very good video. Um, so that's clamping on the line and stops it moving in the two directions. You know, stops going that way. Had maybe barbs stopping going left. Some. Then what you'd be able to do is vary the length of the main lift line. Keep all these at the bottom on a, a spinning feeder with their bearing in the middle and as the line goes out and you need another torque rod you feed it out clamp it to the line you know clamp it close to the line at its point so that you've got your um, other line to the next rod up here and it's you know going to allow it to twist to the 45 degrees uh, but it's it's free to rotate on the line and that's saving weight Whether or not we need you know, both directions, it's maybe not. Uh, it's not the case. You know, um, we could just clamp it one way because at the moment, uh, restricting all the rods one direction seems to work well enough. And whether or not you'd have you know, a bearing on the end of this that the the rod would sit on, uh, the bearings would all have to be threaded onto the line before you know before it paid out anyway. So that, you know, it's maybe as well that they're inside. The, the rods, or could you have it, you know, that the the clamp part is built into the the, the rod itself, um, you know, the bearing is on on the rod, it comes together, can the bearing clamp together, is there another way to, to get that to work?